the sound of a cracking bullwhip meant Indiana Jones? No, no, no. It meant one thing to wrestling fans. Outlaw Ron Bass was in the building. And he's in the building right now, everybody. <laughs> Always with <laughs> trusting Miss Betsy at his side, the rugged Texan used an aggressive old school offense to intimidate and punish his unlucky opponents. After years in the ring, the outlaw retired <laughs> right here in Tampa Bay. But this weekend, he's donning the tights once again to help a fallen comrade. Here to tell us about the Jeff Peterson Memorial Cup is wrestling legend outlaw Ron Bell. <laughs> How y'all doing this morning? We're Good. doing great. Awesome, now, man. Now this is uh, this is a, an important enough uh, event for you. You've actually come out of retirement uh, to do this. Well, I always thought a retirement was a retirement. So sure. When I when I got out of the ring uh, in the in the 90s and uh, I kind of just got completely out of sport, got back. But uh, when you hear worthy causes come up, you know you want to get involved in something you know that's worth doing, and this is definitely worth doing. So I, you know, I'm gonna dust off the old hat, the old tights, and uh, Miss Betsy will come back into play, and we're we'll looking forward to Saturday night up at Crystal River for, for the Jeff Peterson Cup. Now, Outlaw, do you actually do your wrestling in the hat? No, that's got to come off. I wish I could keep it on there, but it, it has a habit of coming off. It ain't it ain't glued to me or fixed to me. You know, <laughs> it ain't implanted. But uh, you know, we're looking forward to coming to Crystal River. Uh, a lot of nice, good fans up there. Uh, there's a lot of talent. I, I had an opportunity to see some of these young guys that are in action now, and uh, they 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 hold their own. They, there's there's you a could real still take them though, couldn't you? I, I mean, come could. on, those young punks <laughs> coming at you just swat. You got away. experience on your side. <laughs> well, experience takes you so far, and then the know-how has to be in there too. But but, uh, yeah, I can still hold my own. I, I still hit the gym five, six times a week. Uh, I'm as strong as I ever was. The only thing I might have a little bit of problem is I might not be as quick as I was, but if I get my hands on you, look out. Yeah, what, what about the bull whip? Now, don't, you have to, you, don't you use that every once in a while? If somebody's getting a little unruly, you take out the whip and just drag them out of there? Well, she's a disciplinary. You know, Miss, Miss Betsy, she kind of, she'll keep everybody in check. You know, sure. I looked around for a long time for a good partner, and, you know, I never did find a, a good partner that was a male, and then I, then I got to looking, and I said, well, here I found a female, Miss Betsy, and she fit the, uh, you know, she got that, a present company excluded, but she's got the attitude, if you know what I mean. I got the attitude. Oh, yeah. I'll be your sidekick. Oh, yeah. Where is Miss Betsy today? Well, she decided not to make a day. She she was feeling a little under the weather, and she said, let's just wait till Saturday night. And, okay. And, and she'll make herself known big time. But not only Saturday night, not only Miss Betsy be there, but the bull rope is going to be involved here. Uh, I said a man ago, you know, get my hands on you might be the challenge sometime catching you. Well, this Saturday night, I don't have to chase anybody. We're going to be tied together with a bull rope. It's got a six-pound uh, of a cowbell in the middle of it, and I guarantee you, I won't have to chase nobody. All I got to do is just give a pretty good tuck, and I'll find him. So, huh. if uh, uh, who were some of your big uh, uh, nemesis when you were uh, when you were in the ring all the time? Was it a <laughs> junkyard dog? Uh, who, who was who was it that really got to? Well, you? in different areas of, of the country, wherever I was at. Of course, here in Florida, it was Dusty Rhodes for years and years. Him and I had some several knockdown dragouts. Bar Wendell. Harley Race, you ever tangle oh, up with Harley time, Race? Big time, big <laughs> time. World champion. Me and him Saturday night in St. Petersburg did a one hour time limit for the world championship. I'll never forget that. That was one of the best ones we went through. But of course, then when we went to the New York office, it was the WWF at that time. You had Hogan up there, you had Junkyard Dog, you had Randy uh, 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 Poffo, you, uh, uh, you had so many different talents up there. Rick and Flair. Uh, Rick Flair, yeah. Tricky Ricky, man. Him and I started about the same time. Run him many times. Uh, the, Georgia Championship Wrestling, uh, Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. Uh, so I had an opportunity to be around the world several times, and I've enjoyed all of it and wouldn't do a thing over again. You know, I mean, I'd do it all again. Let's put it that way. Wouldn't change a thing. Now, you have a dedicated fan base, but let's say that maybe somebody hasn't really followed wrestling before. Would this be a good event to come out to to get a real good taste of it? Yeah, because what you're going to see is you get, you, you're going to see young guys that are hungry to make a name for themselves, and uh, they're going to go out there, and they, they're not going to leave nothing. Uh, you know, they're not going to take nothing back to the dressing room. They're going to leave it into the ring. And the only way that you can get noticed is doing this type of matches, getting out in front of people, showing them what you got, showing what kind of talent you got, most of all showing your heart. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing in any sport or anything that you want to try to do. If you ain't got the heart, if you ain't got the attitude, it ain't happening. Well, we've all right. got uh, the, all the event information here for you. Boy, this is great. Uh, yeah, get ready to wrestle, folks. It's uh, for, all for Jeff Peterson, the Jeff Peterson Memorial Cup. Uh, coming up uh, Friday, November 20th, coming right up. Brooksville National Guard Armory doors open at 7. Bell time. Ring the bell. Ring the bell at 8 p.m. There are the web 
websites and all the information at studio10.tv and and Saturday November 21st you can catch the event at Crystal River National Guard Armory and the doors open at 7 again the bell time is at 8 o'clock there are the websites that you need studio10.tv you know, well, 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 wait a minute wait a minute what's going on wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold it's hold Saturday it. night we can do it right now oh. Rob Bass you're looking at the superstar you're looking at the Let future of professional more. wrestling if you don't want to wait you're a I got it right now you're a Huh? <laughs>